Hello and welcome to the Rangers News YouTube channel. My name is Cameron Willis and I'm sitting here with Mr. James Black. How are you doing? Um, yep, today we're going to talk about the January transfer window and namely the players that came into the club in Ayanis Hadji, son of Georgia Hadji, and um, Florian Camberry, which has caused ruffled a few feathers in Edinburgh. Um, yeah, we're going to ask, are these players the players that are going to come in and help fire us to 55 in a title and how much of an impact are they going to have over the next few months? Um, Hadji's obviously the, the headline signing and the, the one that, that garnered most attention and you've, you've got to be excited to see what I'm, I, I'm, exci I'm excited. I mean, there's, even there's a real talented player there by the looks of things. Um, I know it's maybe not always went quite right for him at previous clubs but if Rangers get him going and get him at his best, he could he could really do some damage in the Scottish Premiership. Camberry, mm -hmm. uh, 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 Camberry just strikes me as a bit of an odd one completely. Um, I think all things being equal, when Defoe and Morelos is fit, but you don't see Camberry near the match day squad. Um, I think it's just a kind of short term stopgap whilst. I mean, that's in, out. it's interesting you say that because on top of Camberry, we were also looking at Matej Vidra. So if he is, he was just a stopgap, why were we also looking at another player where he might have not played? I get it. I, I think it's more a case it was one or the other rather okay. than both. Um, I just, I don't see any real room for him. I mean, unless Stephen Gerrard was going to kind of have some kind of big tactical overhaul and start going with two strikers, then I just... Morelos is always going to be there. Mm -hmm. So at the very worst, you might have one more space in the starting 11 beside him, but more than likely you're not going to have it. It's going to be somebody on the bench. So Camberry, Defoe and Vidra just... No, it's... It seems excessive. I, I, I don't know. I think I think you can... Without, obviously, Hadji is the exciting one, but Camberry's a good player. I think that when you look at his, his, his record in big matches for Hibs, mm -hmm. it's good. So I think one of the reasons, obviously the Defoe injury is spun a lot on when he's another attacker, one of the reasons why he's came in, but he's a player that can score against Celtic. He's proven that he can score against Celtic. I've always kind of rated him. I always thought there was a good player in there. And, um, no, I, don't, I, don't, player. I agree with you in terms of he's not going to get as many minutes because obviously you've got Morelos up front and stuff. But I, th I, I, th I have um, decent enough hopes for hey, Canberra's impact. I, I don't think that it's going to be a complete waste of a space or, or a wasted signing. I don't think it'll be a wasted signing. Um, it will have a purpose, but I just... He's that guy that's going to come on to let Morelos get a breather more than mm. being signed as anybody that's... He's been signed for any certain skills that he brings or any particular traits that he has. Mm. You know, it's, it was a centre-forward who was available at that time rather than a player that was specifically targeted because of who he was and what he brings. Yeah, uh, maybe perhaps. I mean, you don't know that, but perhaps. Um, I, the, the, the reaction from the Hibs fans has been interesting, certainly, because what he said said that it was his dream to play here, apparently. Um, I, I, I don't get what he said that was that wrong. Uh, surely for any, any ambitious young footballer, you go from... Small club to slightly bigger club to slightly bigger club to bigger club. Mm. Uh, Cam Berry's done that. He's yeah. gone for a kind of relatively big club within Scottish football to the biggest club within Scottish football, one that's a recognisable name kind of all around the world. So yeah, I, I, do you think do you think he's going to have that impact in the title? <coughs> do you think he's going to score goals? Do you think he's a player? I, hope so. do you think I do certainly you hope so. So you, you you think Hadji's going to be the greater option? I mean, I agree with you. I mean, the, the Hadji thing, the Hadji thing is an exciting signing all round. I mean, he's a well, he's a well kind of known young player around Europe, and as you can see by how exciting Stephen Gerrard was to get him in and get him an initial loan deal. More than likely, I think that we'll sign him in the summer. It's an exclusive option to buy that we have on him. You want him to hit the ground running. I mean, <laughs> he had a brief cameo against Aberdeen, and I mean that was such a kind of like turgid match. It was a difficult game for it. I mean, come on and really change it. But he was positive. He, he dropped deep and he was m putting passes forward. I think that he could be a major player for us. And I want to see him starting as soon as possible. I reckon he'll start on Wednesday against Hibs. Mm -hmm. Um, I think he'll go right into the side. Uh, he's in the door now. He's 
he's fit by all accounts. He's pretty much match sharp, and it's just a case of getting him attuned to how how Gerard wants his side to play. So yeah, it's Hibs would be the ideal opportunity to bring him into the side. It's a mm. team that aren't particularly performing well. Hibs themselves haven't been in excellent form. It's like a two-each draw with St Mirren at the weekend after being 2 0 down. So yeah, it'd be a really good chance to bring him in and. And I get to see what he can do for 90, for 90 minutes. See the the signings as well after being um, after like such a dry transfer window in terms of incomings and because of our form and stuff as well. I think it offered like a little bit of a boost. Obviously, mm. we've kind of been taken back down to earth after the weekend's result a little bit and it knocked the stuff out of us. But the lift that fans were getting on deadline day by getting Hadji over the line and to a lesser degree, Camberry was big. And if you can get Hadji firing straight away. I think the fans will come. We'll, we'll go with them. Oh, I absolutely! Think, absolutely. I, I think that I think that'll be huge, and uh, it's an interesting one. Hopefully, he kind of hits the ground running over the next couple of weeks. 